Thank you for stopping. Hi, do you guys have the uh, new double cheese chicken boss burrito? Yes, we do. Great. I would take, uh, I'll take one of those. And then do you have that same thing, uh, the new uh, Quisa Blanca uh, loaded nachos? Yes, we do. There oh, you go. all right. Go ahead. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey guys, this is Dad from Zach and Dad, and today I am going to try some new products that they have at our local Taco John's. I'm really excited about it. It's a great place. Why don't you join me and let's do it together. My son is Zach, and I am Dad, and together we're Zach and Dad. Again, I'm by myself again. Uh, Zach is spending some time, uh, some great quality time with uh, his grandma and grandpa. And so, so that's great. So I thought, you know, again, he's busy with everything going on and sports and this and that. I thought, you know what? The show still has to go on. Even though my son can't make it, the show must go on. Plus, I get to eat more. You know, that's kind of what I think. I'm like, all right, he's gone. I get to eat more. Anyway, let's get right into it today. Thanks for watching the Zach and Dads. We really do appreciate it, even if it's just Dad. We are the place for, you know what, food reviews, food challenges, and good, clean, today, Taco John's kind of fun. Uh, if you enjoy what you see here, which we really hope you do, please like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications so you never miss an incredible thing that we are going to do. Now, today we're going to Taco John's. Now, uh, for some of you, you have no clue what a Taco John's is. I think it's regional. Uh, let me know if it's in your neck of the woods. It is a chain, um, but I think it is kind of regional or in a certain area. Again, I'm from Wisconsin. We do have them here in Wisconsin. Some of you might have Del Taco. Some of you might have whatever, Taco Grande. I don't know what you have. Taco Bells are everywhere, but not Taco John's. Taco John's are known for their Olays, which I really love, which they're kind of like tater tots uh, with a Mexican flair, but they're really good. But anyway, that's not what we're here for today. Today, we are actually here uh, for, and again, I'm reading from Chuboom, uh, which is the foodie's Bible. Anyway, Taco John's is upping. They're upping their queso game again again. Um, and we'll put up a card. I think we do have a playlist of Taco John's uh, where you can see where we've done some of the other things. Uh, with the introduction of their new premium queso uh, blanco. What is that? Is that whatever? Um, blank cheese. You know, you know, you don't want to swear. So instead of swearing, you say queso blanco. Otherwise, it'd be, you know, queso blank. No, I'm kidding. Uh, queso Blanco made with three cheeses, red peppers, jalapeno peppers. Ooh, I'm looking forward to a little kick then. And smoky, yes, yeah, smoky uh, hatch chilies. And so to celebrate the launch, Taco John's is featuring their premium queso Blanco. Ooh, you got to watch. Be careful with your language there. Uh, queso Blanco in two new limited time, limited time, got again on it. Double cheese uh, chicken boss burrito. And the queso blanco loaded nachos. So let's do this. Let's do the burrito first, and then I'll explain what the burrito is. It was kind of funny. One of our incredible subscribers said, Man, in every in every um, thumbnail, you always have your mouth open. And um, and I said, if you know me, I am not a I, I love to um, I love sarcasm. I love to have fun. And it seems like on everyone's, it always seems like on everyone's uh, thumbnail, they got, you know, it always is like, or it's like, or it's like, you know, it's always like this incredible face. So I just like to have fun with it. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. So it's not because I'm trying to be dramatic. It's just that, all right, I'm trying to make fun. Anyway, this burrito is really, really, really big. It is huge. It is, it is really big. Anyway, let me show you what this, well, you see what it is, and I'll tell you what it is. It is their new double cheese chicken boss burrito. This is like the size of Chipotle. This burrito is, is $6.79. So it's about the same size of Chipotle burrito, but not that, you know, but not the price. Anyway, it is, it, what it has on here, it's grilled chicken, cilantro lime oh i love cilantro cilantro lime rice i love that like chipotle um and the cadoba i think has that too 
uh, black beans, all natural cheddar cheese, pico de gallo, or roasted corn. I forgot which one I picked. I uh, I forgot. And poblano pepper salsa, sour cream, new premium queso blanco. That's the the thing we're talking about. And nacho cheese, all wrapped in a soft tortilla. Um, there's also an option to wrap it. Oh, there's also an option to wrap it out of chicken. Uh, oh, to swap the chicken for steak. So, which I didn't do. So, anyway, let's try this. I think I said pretty much what it is. So, let's chip it and dip it. Again, this thing is huge. I'm probably going to make a mess all over. Really good. Really good. I say that about every review. I literally, has there ever been a review where I said, man, that really stunk? I know my son has said that sometimes when I when I try something, I'm like, oh, that's not bad. And then Zach goes, oh, that stinks. But I guess if I didn't, to tell you the truth, if I really didn't like an item, you're not, I'm not, you're not going to see me review it. So, um, because you probably noticed that I pretty much say that to everything. Like, oh, that was so great. Yeah. And I'm not faking it. But because probably if, if I don't review it, it's probably because I didn't, it didn't sound appealing to me. But no, this is really good. I have my, uh, my extra light on here. So that should show the, um, we got chicken in there. Um, just everything that I read, which was like everything except for the kitchen sink. It really is good. It is packed with goodness and greatness. Um, not too much of a spice. I wanted a little more spice because it did say that cheese had the jalapeno stuff in it. I'm not getting much of of the spice at all, but the but with the cheese and the and the 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 veggies in there and the rice, I love that rice and uh, that blanco cheese, that queso blanco cheese, just all that combo, very good, very very good. So anyway, I'll eat this later. You know what's great? Again, I get to eat this all by myself because Zach's not even here. So I might do more of these by myself. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's give a uh, let's give a, or let let's yeah let me give a. Uh, a, a, a rating, a flavor rating. That's what I call it. I forgot what I call it. Let me give this a flavor rating. Very good. Very good. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, nine. Nine. Very good. Solid nine, too. I'd go out and get it. I definitely would promote it um, and uh, go for it. All right, before we try the other item, there's two items. Before I try the other item, I have my questions for you like I always do. Give me a thumbs up if you like Taco John's. Um, I would really appreciate that. Would you try this? Even if you don't have a Taco John's, would this be something you you would try? Or maybe you did try it. Let me know what you thought. Would you put it on your Edible playlist? Meaning that this would be maybe a regular on your you know, on your Mexican kind of repertoire or whatever you call that. <laughs> um, anyway, what is your go-to? Maybe you don't even have a Taco John. So what is your go-to fast Mexican place in your neck of the woods? Um, and what would your favorite place be at that place? And then are you on team, uh, there's always a debate, are you on team soft taco or hard taco? I actually used to be, you know, when I was younger, everything, it was always hard. You had no option. It was always hard. Then when I got older, I'm like, ooh, I really like that soft. Now that the older I'm getting again, I kind of like to go back. I like that crunch of actually a traditional taco. So now it's kind of like if I have a choice, I actually want to go with the hard taco because I think it has that, I like that texture. Uh, I love that crunch. The soft taco sometimes just makes it all taste like smush. All right. So anyway, the second one that we're going to do is they have the new Quesa Blanco. Blanco. I'm probably horribly pronouncing this. Um, again, I'm from Wisconsin. Forgive me, okay? I have that northern accent. You betcha, by golly. You know what I mean? Can I go with you? Or no, can I go with? You betcha. Um, many of you can tell I have an accent, and it is. It is straight up from Wisconsin. Uh, born and raised uh, all my 47 years of life. Uh, new case of Blanco loaded nachos. Um, it's a bed of, it's a bed. Oh, a night. Oh, isn't that so cute? Oh, I love that. A bed of house-made chips. I wonder whose house. I wonder if it was from Grandma's house. Hmm, that'd be cool. Maybe on her bed. Uh, a bed of house-made <laughs> house. I can just picture that. Hey, Grandma, wake on up. I gotta make. We gotta make the chips. Wake up, Grandma. We gotta make this bed. This this bed of house chips. This bed of house-made chips. I love to have fun. Loaded up with new premium queso blanco sauce again. Uh, with your choice of grilled chicken or hand-cut 
sirloin steak. And I didn't make it. I just got it without the meat because I already did the meat in the burrito. Um, roasted corn and poblano pepper salsa, sliced jalapenos, tomatoes, and queso fresco. And again, these are only for a limited time. I don't know why they are, but I guess they are. So anyway, I was kind of expecting when you when you when you hear what I just read, I was expecting like natural supreme. I was expecting natural supreme without the meat, but this is what I got. I got chips and cheese. So I am a little disappointed because the picture um, through the drive-through showed it like it was in a container, had the chips out on a tray with the cheese and all this little good stuff. And so I was imagining that. Um, and then he asked if I wanted meat on there. I said no. So I just assumed it would be like a really nice thing on a tray with no, no meat. But no, chips and that queso blanco. That's it. So I am a little disappointed in that. That's really not what I wanted, but this is what I get. So I get these chips that are made on my grandma's bed. And, or maybe not my grandma, but a grandma's bed. Remember, it's a bed full of uh, of the homemade chips, whatever. So whatever. Um, so we got this, and we got this. This is that queso blanca, uh, queso blanco. It sounds like, what is that, queso? It sounds like a movie. Casablanca! That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, this is that new Casablanca cheese. I might even just call it that. But anyway, this is what that queso blanco, uh, whatever, blanca cheese looks like. Looks like basically white cheese with a bunch of, uh, of that stuff on there. So I'm just going to kind of get right into it. I'm going to chip it, literally chip it and dip it. Let's see what it gets. Just the cheese by itself. I'm going to get a, a nice kind of thing there. Mm. It is good. The chips and the cheese are good. What did I pay for that? Let me see. For the chips and salt, well not, for the chips... For the chips and the uh, cheese, it was two nineteen, so I guess not that bad. I guess I was expecting more like a natural supreme, but with the chips and salsa, or with the chips and cheese, with that queso blanco cheese, uh, it came to two nineteen. So I guess, I guess not too bad. I guess I'll give this a flavor rating. Basically, it's just chips with that new cheese. Um, all right, here we go. Three, two, one, seven. Solid seven. Really good. Um, it would be, it would be like a real good side item with the burrito. Um, I was thinking of it more as maybe like two separate dishes, but no, this was definitely a side item thing. So it'd be the burritos plus that, but it was really good. Um, again, I would encourage you to get it, try it. Let me know what you think. I'd really would appreciate it. Again, thanks for being with us. We really do appreciate it. If you love what we're doing here, again, a lot of times with my son, but now we're kind of doing my son and me or just me or my son or whatever. But if you enjoy what we do here, um, if you like what you see here, what, what, what do we do? We just like to have fun. We like to do food reviews. Uh, just like to have fun together. Uh, we review the food so you can make better choices uh, of, the, of, the, of the money, of the limited resources you have. That's why we do it. So that, and, and I love some of you are like, I wasn't planning on trying it, but since you did, did it i am going for it or i like it when some of you say i was going to try it you didn't like it or zach didn't like it so i didn't do it so i am glad that we are able to help you make better food choices and we do appreciate that um so please like us uh comment subscribe to us if you like what we do here uh, watch our other videos we're going to keep on moving here we do some great content on here uh we have some great playlists we would love you to check out as well like us on the facebook's we can really connect a little more personally on there as well i do comment almost on everyone's uh comment so we can stay connected and get to know you fam your, your family a little more and my family a little more um we do know there's a thousand other awesome incredible foodie channels out there that have a father and son or a father or whatever and probably better than us but we love to be in the game um, but thank you for taking a small little time and your whole vast YouTube food experience to spend it with a dad or a father and son that love to do what we love to do. So we love you guys. Uh, again, thank you for being with us today. And as we always end, you can say it with, say it with me now. See you on the flippity flop. All right. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you on the next video. Take care and have a great day.